When it first came out, the, uh, most of the first reviews of it couldn't have got it more wrong. I think uh, my favourite comment is by the reviewer in the Times Literary Supplement, uh, 25th November 1955, who uh, nailed his colours to the mast. He said, um, this is not a work that many adults will read right through more than once. Well, that must have seemed a safe bet at the time, because uh, it's 1,200 pages long, and you wouldn't expect many people to read it right through more than once. But actually, of course, they have. It is a book which has been read through by an enormous number of adults many more times than once. And another classic, I think, really, Again, uh, you know, a book when people might possibly have, have learnt better. This book says, talking in a very advanced critical language, that uh, The Lord of the Rings is overcoded because the megatext has to be constantly explained. Well, leave that aside. But it goes on to say, Nor are the histories and genealogies in the least necessary to the narrative, but they have given much infantile happiness to the Tolkien clubs and societies. Well, that's just... That's just name-calling, infantile happiness. But when uh, somebody says the histories and genealogies are not in the least necessary to the narrative, now that's dead wrong. That's not only wrong, that's stupidly wrong. Actually, what they give to the narrative is something which Tolkien was very aware of and which he often talked and wrote about and which he valued very much, and that is depth. So you don't just have, as it were, a flat, garish, shiny surface. You have something which has depth behind it and a feeling that this is a world where... You can ask a question about it and you'll get an answer. And if you ask a question about the question or a question about the answer, then you'll get more answers because it's all there already. And that gives you an illusion of reality. But the illusion has been deliberately created. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and please follow our pages on Twitter and Instagram under the name at Uppsala Books.